so so we were we're talking about this guy and we're you know he's tried marketing and advertising in the past and the whole thing was you know i've spent money and it didn't work it didn't do this and do that so he sells he sells jewelry right yeah sure yeah we don't need to say the guy's name anyway here's the deal so why did i buy an aston martin why did I do that? What's the, what's the, what was the feeling that was connected to getting an Aston Martin? James Bond, elegance, a little bit understated, powerful, cool, beauty. There's a feeling connected with that, okay? I know what I'm getting with it. Land Rover, power, British, cool, outdoorsy, sporty, but strong, right? What else? When you look at Tiffany and company, because we're talking about jewelry, we know, we're getting some, we know what we're getting out of that because of Audrey Hepburn and Breakfast at Tiffany's, all this stuff. There's this, there's this elegance, there's this thing. When we look at this guy, I don't know what he stands for. I don't know what his culture is, right? He's got all these great products. He's got these things all together. He, it looks good, but I don't know what he stands for. And that's branding. It's not a video. It's not graphics. It's not a website. It's not an ad campaign. It's what does this guy stand for? What does this girl stand for? Why would I buy these products over Bulgari, over Tiffany and company, over what we said, Harry Winston? Why would I do that? Because he's got his own thing. We saw a video before. He had, he had this, you know, he, he was in the middle of a room full of computer circuit boards. And that was the first video I saw that I was like, this is interesting. But everything else, I don't know what it is. It's grasping. Right? So when you hear people say, well, yeah, I've heard about that I need to build the brand, I need to do branding, I need to build this thing, I need to get that built out and all this stuff. What's not discussed is what's the culture? What do I feel when I look at you? What do I experience? Why would I want to buy from you over this person? Because of your viewpoint, your culture, what you stand for. The guy's jewelry is cool. You know, when I saw that video, I was like, I got it. But it was buried under 12, six months, seven months of promotion that had nothing to do with who he is as an individual. He's from Colombia. Okay, what's that story like? Why did I do this, right? You look at, and I hate to use this as a reference, but you use Liberace, you know what the guy stood for. Tacky, but it was like, that's him. You know why you're buying that. Louis Vuitton, why am I buying Louis Vuitton? I'm buying Louis Vuitton because of the experience that I get from owning Louis Vuitton. I get some sort of clout. Right? When you go out into the marketplace selling luxury jewelry like this, you have to ask yourself, why would I spend my money there when I could just go to Tiffany or I could go to Bulgari or I could go to Harry Winston or I could go to a myriad of other stores. But we have an individual designer, an individual person who's created his own viewpoint, his own experience, who's create, but, but he's not saying that. Right. He's trying to be like Tiffany's and trying to be like Bulgari and Cartier and all these things, but he's not being him. And this is the downfall. This is why hundreds of thousands of dollars are spent every year on advertising and marketing. And you need to tell him that. You have to tell him that. I don't know what you stand for. That's why this mar the marketing hasn't worked in the past. You have no clear definition. I can't see it. I can't look at you and get what it is. That's what we're selling. We're not selling landing pages. Yes, we're selling landing pages. We're selling websites. We're selling ad campaigns. But we're, that's a mechanical thing. What we're selling is an emotion, a reason to want to buy. I wanted to own Aston Martin because I thought they were cool and I wanted to be James Bond. I wanted to be James Bond. And every time I drive it, I'm like, I'm James Bond. Where are my rockets? Right? Why would I buy his jewelry? Very cool stuff he's got. Very cool. He looks cool. He's surrounded by beautiful women. Like he's got the ideal life, but I don't see it. There's no reason for me to want to follow this and say, I gotta buy this. And there's celebrities that are wearing his products. Where's all that in the promotion? I see nothing about that. I saw Annette Bedding was wearing one of the one of the one of the uh, uh, pieces that that he he makes. Where is that in the market? That should be front and center and just focus on those products from celebrities that have found interest. Because obviously there's something about that piece of jewelry that made them say, I want to wear this in public. And that's why people want to buy jewelry. Women want to buy jewelry. Men buy jewelry too. I mean, you know, whatever. But why did I buy this? Well, it's kind of cool. It's, it's, it's a little rugged. It's a little elegant. It's a little classy, but it's also grungy. What is my brand conveying? 
Aston Martin, power, energy, dynamics, life, all of these things. That's what you need to convey on sales calls. That's what you need to convey to people. And that's why when, when you hear an ad agency say, yeah, we're gonna do branding, we're gonna build this, they're not diving into this level. We just dissected everything he has. You saw the report I wrote up. Here's everything that needs to be adjusted, because I don't see, but the primary thing is, is I just don't see who he is. I don't see why he built this type of jewelry. I don't see that. Yeah, I see models, but everybody sees models. Model is a model is a model, but I'm gonna buy something because it's gonna give me a feeling from it when I wear it, and that's not what I see.